and welcome to my YouTube channel, Julia Emile Crafts. So today I was going to look at card making for beginners but on a budget. So we all have lots of lovely stuff and sometimes we can kind of get drowned in that. But for somebody just starting out, can you make really nice cards for not a lot of money? So I am loving this kit at the minute. You may have seen me use it on my Instagram as well. So this is from the works. It's £3 as you can see. And I'm just going to show you what is in the kit. So we've got a bit of ribbon and some feathers. We have some stickers. We have some smaller papers which are double sided and they are just gorgeous. And I'm just going to do that into the microphone. The quality of these is incredible. Honestly, they are as good as some of the more expensive brands that I've got. We have got tags. We've then got four sheets of die cut toppers. Okay. Then we have um, A4 sheets as well. So what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sheets of A4. So my plan today in this video is to make ten cards. Nice and easy, quick cards using this kit. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera, I'm going to pop all of these out, I'm going to chop some of these papers down and then we'll get started. Okay, so I have been beavering away. I have popped all of those die cuts out and I have chopped down some of the papers. And I just thought I'll just work away on these sort of simultaneously and we can see what we come up with. So it's quite, hopefully should be quite interesting. <laughs> so as I said, the reason I wanted to do this um, was to show that you can really, really craft on a budget, especially when we've got, I mean, I know that I'm in the UK, so our cheaper shops, we've got Pangland and we've got The Works, um, and that's kind of, for us, I know that, you know, in the States you've got Dollar Tree and stuff like that, so just any cheap and cheerful kit that you pick up, what can we actually make with it? How cheaply can we do it? I have limited my supplies as well. I am using glue, but this is only because it's the glue I have. Um, but a print stick, and I know that in the pound shop you can get about five for a pound. I'm going to use some 3D foam. I, this I bought from the pound shop, and you get a roll, I've been using this one that's bigger, and five sheets of 3D foam squares, so that would be a pound. My scissors, and I am allowing myself my black pen, but I think I, this is a pro marker, but even if you don't have a pro marker, most of us have got a black pen lying about at home. So let's just have a play and see what we can do. I'm not one for making lots of cards the same. That doesn't tend to be my style. So um, <laughs> I'm not going to do that, but I'm just going to try and work on some cards um, simultaneously and we can see we can see what we what we end up with. Um, so I'm just kind of having a little play with some of the elements. Um, we can maybe find out what's going to what's going to work, what's not going to work, and uh, see how we go. So I've worked out, my aim is to make at least 10 cards in this video. So if you already had some stash, um, like card blanks and glue and things, that would then make each of those cards 30 pence each. If you had to go out and buy some card blanks um, and a print stick and stuff like that, again, going by prices that you can find at the works, because I'm, I'm talking about doing a budget here, that it would maybe be talking 50 pence a card instead. But I reckon that we can make way, 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 way more than 10 cards. Um, there we go. I think that's quite a nice, simple card there. I am liking how that one looks, so let's just pop that one together. Yeah, I reckon we'll maybe make way more than 10, but for this video, because and also because I don't want it to be horrifically long, um, it could very well be long, because making 10 cards, um, no matter who you are, <laughs> uh, could take a while, no matter how quickly we're doing. But let's just see. Let's keep it um, simple. So if I just kept going with this card, it would be interesting to see by the end of multiple vi videos just how cheap we could get these cards down to. But for today, as I said, I'm aiming for 10, which would either make it 30 pence per card if you already had card blanks or blank card and glue, um, and 
um, 50 pence if you maybe had to go out and buy, buy some of those things. The other thing is even for crafters that have a whole load of stash, and believe me, I am sitting in my craft space right now. I hate to think how much value there is sitting around me. I honestly shudder to think. Um, I know it will be a crazy amount. I've not put the glue all the way to the edge, by the way, and that is so that um, all those bits and pieces, as I was layering them up, I was tucking different things in behind and things like that, and that's to allow me to still be able to do that. So that's why um, I don't fully fully tuck it under. Now I'm thinking that we might put that dream on 3D foam. What was I saying? Yes, I am surrounded by far too much stuff. Ridiculous, 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 honestly. And I can't say that I'm ever going to stop buying stuff because I enjoy it and I quite often find, um, like recently I've bought way more than I should, seriously. I'm going to have to really pull it back. I've been a little bit naughty. Um, but, uh, like for me, that's how I relax. It's what I enjoy. It makes me feel good. I think some people go and get their nails done and some people go and buy handbags and have holidays abroad. I don't do that. I don't begrudge the people that do, but I just think we all have things that we spend our money on. And for me, crafting is my thing and my priority, and I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> so, um, but still, for, for people that are maybe a bit newer, um, and they come on and you constantly, you're constantly bombarded with new images. Like, they come onto YouTube and there's lots of crafters showing how to do things, which is why we're here, because we want to learn. But then sometimes we see products we like, and the same with the telly box, you know, I am a big Hachanda fan, I watch a lot of Hachanda, a little bit of Crate and Craft, but, you know, again, you're there to maybe learn something, but then you can't help but see something that you want and feel you need. Um, so, as much as we enjoy getting new stash, sometimes it is kind of thinking, well, you know, what can we do with what we've got? And also if you are new, and maybe you don't know if you're going to like it or not. So spending £3 might seem, yeah, I could try it for that. If I absolutely hate it, it doesn't matter. In fact, I would get one of these kits for my daughter. Sometimes when I buy new stuff, I'm a little bit precious. And of course, she loves her crafting. She loves coming and joining me. But, you know, she's, at the minute, she just, you know, she'll stick with stickers on a wall if she could. She's not necessarily going to be making works of art and sometimes if we're spent an absolute fortune on things I mean believe me I have like graphic 45 paper and stuff in my collection and we all, <laughs> we all know what that's like um so I can be a bit precious about my stuff my stuff comes and she's like oh mummy can I play with it and you're like no that's mummy's and then you, you kind of realize you're being a bit mean over paper um so but with this I would actually buy her own kit. It would cost me less than taking her swimming or taking her to soft play or something like that. So it's like, well, why not? Why not? So um, it's it's something that you could that you could maybe maybe have a try. So I just thought it was just an idea. The idea just struck me, and I hope you enjoy it. If not, I'll not make one of these sorts of videos again. <laughs> Even though I've got a uni unicorn kit begging me to be used. <laughs> The minute I'm just having far too much fun with this one. I've actually got two. But um, this is, um, I thought I'll just do it from scratch and so that I'm literally just using. Now, where did I have the butterfly? Was it up? Up like that, maybe. Okay. So, that is card number one. What I will do is get a pen. Um, as I said, this could be a black biro. It could be absolutely anything that you've got in your stash and I am just going to do some full stitching because I believe when it comes to pens that we'll probably all have either felt tip pen, black sharpie, biro, I'm sure there's something that we could use just to do these little these little finishing touches. Okay so that is card number one. Nine more to go. <laughs> Believe me, that's fast for me for a card. Sometimes I can take hours just making this. I do like ripping and tearing. 
That's a great way. Because we've limited our supplies, um, we've got to look at other ways of creating texture. So sometimes having that contrast of the hard edge and then a torn edge and different bits and bobs like that um, can really make a difference. I was also speaking to one of my crafty friends on her channel, um, Dawn, from the Shine, Shiny Silver Treasures. Do feel free to check her out because she makes the most amazing stuff. Um, it's just some lovely mixed media things as well. Um, so I'm kind of going a bit cactus crazy on this one, but that's cool, that's cool. Um, and she had just, she's just done a video recently um, and she just limited her supplies and we were saying that sometimes, you know, if you just limit your supplies, sometimes it increases your creativity. Sometimes we get so lost in product um, that we're not really sure what we're doing with ourselves. But then other times if we can just, um, yeah, sometimes if we limit our supplies and we have to think outside the box, we have to think how we can make what in front of us, you know, how to make it work. I know I learned that on a design team when I was on a design team that, you know, because you were selling a particular product or something for the company that you were working for, um, quite often you had that kit, the one that was for sale. Um, and normally if I was making cards, I'd be pulling something in from here and something in from there, but suddenly I was kind of like, right, okay, I, I can only use this kit. Um, and that was, that was fine, but it actually did teach me to like, because I was like, oh, you know, I really want to, there was one time I was like, I really want a background stamp on this. But we didn't have stamps in that particular kit. Um, or background stamps. But we did have embossing folders. So I ended up inking the embossing folder um, to use as a textured stamp. And it worked fantastically. <laughs> it worked really good. But there's no way I would have come up with that if I hadn't had my supplies limited in that way. So sometimes... Um, we do really manage to increase our increase our creativity um, by doing something like that. Oh, I love this toucan. The toucan there. I think that's looking quite that's looking quite good, isn't it? Maybe put some flowers. There's me going from cutting out that cactus to do something like that. Okay. Uh, I'm quite liking that. Let's go for that. Okay. Right. I'll take and use off now. What I might do is just stick it on fast forward while I make that card. Okay. So I'm kind of wishing I hadn't put you on fast forward there because the card design has completely changed. <laughs> I don't like the balance. What happened was I think I had these bits of paper higher up. And then I did when I was like laying it all out, which is why I normally take a photograph so I can see exactly what it's like. So that ended up higher, which moved this up higher, which when I put the stuff there, it didn't seem balanced. So I put stuff down here and then that seemed too crowded. So yeah, I've been fiddling with that off camera. But yes, I think this is why I should stick to <laughs> real time videos. And it's just that I'm paranoid because I don't want the video to end up going on too long. But then I have also asked you guys, um, you know, what do you think? Because I used the community tab and it was like, and you all said to me, you're happy. <laughs> you're happy with my style of videos and, you know, no matter how long. I think there was a couple of you that said they would prefer not to and I understand that, each to their own. I quite like the real-time style myself. It's um, that sort of style I prefer and I watch because I feel like I'm in the craft room with the person. So I think I just need to stick to what... <laughs> stick to what I do... Okay, because now I just feel like you've kind of missed out on that thought process. Um, but there you go, you live and learn, you live and learn. Okay, so yeah, that all kind of went to pot a little bit, but we'll see how we go. Don't even know if I'll pop it in fast forward or whether I'll just show you the finished card once it's done. We'll see, I'll see what it's like when I play it all back, how horrific it ends up looking. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just seeing these, um, I have sort of I thought about this a little bit off camera, seeing as the last one was a little bit of a disaster, and uh, all my stash is all becoming a bit of a mess, so I think what I will do is after I have um, finished this card, I will stop the recording for a little second, regroup that into piles, 
so that I can see what I'm doing. And again, you know, yes, today I am specifically making um, cards for beginner crafters. I am deliberately keeping it simple in case you don't have a huge amount of stash. And it's like, what can we make with a cheap paper kit and, you know, a pair of scissors and a little bit of sticky. That's basically what I am doing today. But this card also, the, this pack could also make, you know, the most incredible fussy, fancy cards if that's your style and you do have it. So it's like enjoy your stash. If you do have these things, then enjoy them. I'm just going to bring that down a little bit. I love this paper with the stripe and the cactus. I do like it a lot. Right. I'm just going to keep this quick and simple. Honestly, these colours are so nice. Everything about this kit is just so nice. I love it. I like what to. <laughs> and then I was enjoying crafting. So this is me opened a fresh one, even though I'm only halfway through using the other one. Um, but I'm going to keep them separate, as I said, so I can just see what I can make with this. And um, yeah, just just to see. It was just the idea struck me that I would just have a play and see exactly what I could do with it exactly what we could get. I'm saying exactly a lot. <laughs> oh dear, it's a bit later on. And I'm off camera as well. That's what my father-in-law's not watching me telling me It's like, I don't know, my camera seems to be like really far, like I can't seem to get it to work closer and so I feel like I'm stretching right across the desk to, to film, which is why I keep ending up pulling it closer to myself and ending up off camera. Right, so I'm just going to layer this up a little bit like that, I think. Keep it nice and simple. This is the thing as well that you can create, like, layer your die cuts up, um, look at, di as I said, look at different ways of adding texture. Let's see if we've got a little, a little pink flower that we, oh, I know what we'll have. The, this paper is, where is it, this paper's got, um, on the other side. So normally if I was to take a paper pack, so we were very fortunate with this kit because it came with a whole load of die cuts and sentiments and um, things like that. But I have done a few, I think I've done two videos um, where I've literally just taken a paper pack and all I have made my cards with is a paper pack. Um, and so this is what I would do, I would look at papers like that and think, oh that's lots of flowered embellishments right there. Um, and I just need another one. I don't think there's another one the size I want in the card pack. But if I just cut that out, then we can have one. So I think I will put that. Actually, I want it slightly. I'll chop a bit more off of it because I don't want it protruding quite that much. So it's kind of looking at your papers. What can you see in your papers? What, when we get to the end of the kit, we will really be having to do that. Because at the minute, I am just like going to town with the embellishments. I'm layering loads on top of each other. And that's fine because at this price, why not? Why not make the most of it? You know, sometimes if you've bought, like I have got embellishments there. I've got some lovely graphic 45 ones. Um, because, no, I love them. But because they cost me a fortune, I'm a bit precious about using them. Whereas this, I'm just like, oh, slap it on. Just use it. And you know, it's, it's also teaching me, see, doing things like this and just maybe limiting your supplies and stuff like that I am getting, having so much fun out of just using this kit I feel more free to just use it and just play because I'm not bothered if it goes wrong because at the end of the day it will have cost me pennies whereas sometimes with my better stuff not better stuff, this quality is amazing but the stuff that I have spent more on I'm a little bit more precious about it so I'm a little bit maybe frugal with the amount of stuff that I would put on to um, cards because I'm thinking, oh, I need to eke it out and stuff like that. Um, whereas actually, maybe what I'm also learning from this exercise is, do you know what, use what you've got because the enjoyment that I'm getting from just playing is fantastic. So maybe we should, you know, just think about using our stash a little bit more, not being overly precious about it. Okay. I'm just sticking these down because I kind of decided that's what I was doing with them anyway. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm actually doing with this bit of paper. Now with this 
bit of paper and this one here. It kind of already had like the two, like this, I've got my contrast and I've got a bit of a layer because the detail was actually in the paper itself. Where I had, I'm just noticing it there because it's like, it's not like me to just have one sheet of paper down. But these ones here, I've ended up almost creating a similar effect by putting, layering different papers on top of each other. Um, so that's maybe one thing to think about if you're beginning, you know, like look at a bit of paper that's already, that's already got quite a bit of interest as it is. A few different embellishments on this and, and we're cooking on gas, you know. So um, let's just, let's just see how, see that's really pretty by a bit of paper And I'm liking that tag, so I'm going to go with that. Still have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just literally going to put glue down the centre of that because I think I know I want to tuck stuff behind it. So, but I'm just going to stick that down because I like that and I like this sentiment and I like my cactus but there's still got stuff missing so we will just go through the process and see what we come up with. I think it's like later in the night now and my brain has stopped working. I've been wanting to make this video all day. I have the idea in my head to do it. I had ironing to do and then I ended up with extra work. And I've still avoided cleaning the bathroom, which was meant to be my one task for today, so that's got avoided. <laughs> I have done other things. I might not have cleaned the bathroom, but I have done other things that weren't quite on my list. But yeah, the bathroom job is going to last till, until tomorrow. Okay. Let's put that on 3D foam, I think. Well, I think it's going okay. I have no idea how long I've been recording for, so hopefully this won't be horrendously long, but we'll see, we'll see. I, I definitely know we're going to be able to make way, way more than the 10 cards. I can see that for certain. I might have to regroup because sometimes I find like if I've been playing with something for a while it's almost like I've been looking at it too long and I can't quite see stuff anymore so I might have to come back a bit fresh um, but that's okay and the other thing is what am I going to say oh I don't I don't know oh yeah that's what I was going to say I don't tend to make like I'm sitting here and batch making cards here, but none of them are the same. My brain doesn't seem to like doing ones that are the same. Now I'm going to cut this wreath up because I'm thinking that we need we're needing something, but right now all the bits that I have are just too big, and so I'm not loving it. So I'm thinking that we need to be doing something to add a little bit of interest. Um, as I said, the embellishments that I've got so far have just not been working for me. Now that's, yeah, I like that. Should we go for that? Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it and we'll, we'll just keep building it up and see how we go. So, pop that there like that and then we could have some popping out of that corner there. So that's the other thing when you see a kit like this. So you see a wreath, okay? And that's great if you want to use it like that, do, because, you know, that's what it's been designed for. But also don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be able to be afraid to go, do you know, I could just do with, do with something and chop it up. Make it yours. That's what stops these things from becoming, um, you know, like handmade, like everybody having the same. The fact that we all take the same products and um, come out with different things. I know my friend Dawn, she's got these kits and she was saying that, that we all might, um, that she, she she sees what I do with it and it's completely different to what she would do. Maybe we should do something like that sometime. Maybe I should speak to her and say let's, let's make something out of the same. <laughs> I think we have very similar taste. I quite often see her haul videos and think oh I bought that or oh I've, or I see it and think oh I want that. <laughs> I know there's a few things that we've bought recently that are that are similar. We've both bought these. There's a unicorn version of this kit as well, which I have also squirreled away and I will use at some point. Um, 
So, yeah. <laughs> Getting there, I think. Beginning to like it. It's not quite right, but I'm getting there. It's just looking a bit too symmetrical for me at the minute. I like things a bit odd, because I'm a bit odd. <laughs> My, my sleeve is sticking to something. I've got really rolled up sleeves. I love this jumper. And then I suddenly realised that it's not very practical to craft in because it has these great big long woolen ties. So it's all sort of rolled up very strangely. I know this is meant to be a surfboard, but... Mm. but it's the wrong, it's facing the wrong way to be of any use to me in this particular thing that I've got going on at the minute. I quite like that behind me. I'm going to chop that down and snip. See, so for this one here, that was one embellishment, but I'm just, by chopping it into it, I'm still using it, but I'm just creating it ever so slightly different, different look with it. Okay. I am needing something here, and I'm not quite sure what. This is when maybe a live stream would be an idea. Eh? Too scared to do that, though very, very impressed with all you ladies that do it. I've been on a few live streams recently. I feel like I've made loads of crafty friends in the last couple of days. Sorry, I feel like I'm faffing now, which is not good. It's not good at all. Maybe do I just need a bit of Contrast. I'm gonna have to end up taking myself off camera again to oh, uh, oh yeah, that's that's fine. Pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> sure I'm not sure but it's speaking to me a little bit so I'm just gonna go with it because otherwise I'll be here all night. I'm just gonna edge it. I love to edge everything as I said I'm sure many of you will have a black pen of some description so I'm allowing myself that even though I'm going for a beginner limited supply thing. Now that's bled slightly, so I'm going to have to fix that because it will annoy me. Far too much of a perfectionist when it comes to little things like that. <laughs> Not perfectionist in general, but little things like that will bother me. So I may as well do something about it. I suppose what I could do is move, because I was going to put that up there. I could maybe... Yeah, I'll do that instead. See, it's just... And it's just bled ever so slightly there when I've put my Pro Marker in. It's because I didn't do a really good job of chopping it and it's slightly uneven. But that is going to distress me. So I will cover it up. I like that. Okay, which is now means that should I come down with that so that I'm not looking too seamy all over the place. It's like 
Honestly, Julia, stop faffing. <laughs> stop faffing, please. And get on with it. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Me, actually, because it is getting really close to my bedtime. And I can tell I'm faffing, and I have a feeling that if I attempt to sit and make another six cards, <laughs> my brain won't work, and it will turn out to be terrifically wrong. Just to hold the bird in the array. I could do nothing quite to take these away to say that I'm going to end up making paper a lot of it now. Right. <clears throat> That's fine. I will work round it. I will work around it. Yes, I think this video, you'll be seeing it straight away, <laughs> but this video for me might be it for this moment in time, and I may come back to it tomorrow. Which means it looks like I will be uploading this on the Thursday night rather than the Wednesday night that I hoped for. But this is partly why I don't have a regimented schedule. I know that you should, and YouTube tells you to, and because it's good for promoting your channel and all of that hoo-ha, but um, for me, I just know life can be, oh, that's what I will do, life can be a tad unpredictable, and if I commit to certain days, um, my YouTube channel will become a stress for me instead of a release and something that I enjoy. So I am just going to peel this off because I'm thinking, as I said, it's all just beginning to look a bit too even and I don't like even. So I'm thinking that if I bring, oh, I just realised it must be a half of that. It's got a hummingbird hat probably around my right. But if I maybe bring that down like that, just take the pips off. This is a very odd random card, I have to say. It's looking a bit odd. But, you know, I can look at that. It's unique. It might not be my favourite card in the collection, but there's bound to be somebody that likes it. Right, so now I'm going to bring the cactus -y thing over that. It's not looking overly seamy for me, which is good. I'm going to still faffing over. I promise, I promise I will finish this card. <laughs> Sometime this century. Okay. Trouble is, it's school holidays at the moment, so as much as I would like to get this filmed during the day tomorrow, I have a feeling that it's going to be at night time again, because little Miss Seven will probably not be keen for me to be filming instead of entertaining her. Okay, this is a very random card, and it's very cluttered, and it's as a result of moving things about an indecision. But it is actually very different from anything I would normally make. And yeah, it's alright actually. It's Sometimes it's quite nice to make something that's completely different from what you would normally do. Right, I'm just going to go around and do my doodling on that one. But you've seen me do that a thousand times before. So um, yeah, I'll see you. Well, it'll be in a second for you, but tomorrow for me. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so I, I can't help myself. <laughs> I need to keep going. <laughs> I don't know how long this last. It's like, you know that way, it's like, right, okay, that's me packed up. This always happens to me. That's me packed up for the day. And then as I am... Oh, ooh, that's what I want to do. As I am walking away from something, I'm like, oh, 
I see something I could do. I'd be like, oh, just do that. <laughs> and that's kind of what's happened. I was seeing bits of scrap paper lying together going, oh, they look quite good together. So I love this bit of paper here, but now it's not big enough to fit on a square card. So I was thinking that I will just pop that like so. And then I find this bit of paper that I chopped up for something else. And I'm going to put that as a bar down the side. I think this card is going to be so much quicker than the last one. No faffing for this one. Apart from the fact I've just drawn a line on that now, so I'll have to, <laughs> I'll have to try and cover it. Apart from that, I think we're kicking on gas. Right, I'm going to put that like so. I'm just going to um, bring some of the little pips out and um, I will stick that on with my 3D foam. I always end up putting wet glue on top of my 3D foam. It's not that the 3D won't stick. It does, it sticks very, very well, but it's just, I get slightly more wiggle room if I end up using, this one's already got 3D foam because it was going on my two-pan card and then I changed my mind, but I find I just get slightly more um, wiggle room, see, like that, just able to position my flower there, um, and then I was going to put that sentiment, sentiment there, it's needing a bit of just needing a little bit of tidying up just there. As I said, it's these little things that will irritate me. And I'm also trying to decide if I can live with the black mark that I've put there. Okay. So I'm going ED4. I think as well because we're keeping this simple because we're not getting all our products out like normally even no matter what I was doing I would put distress ink around the edges and stuff like that because for me that sort of finishes things off as I said I really really wanted to just go back to basics for this it's like what could you do and I've said it a few times but what really could you do with very minimal supplies so again I'm just going to edge this I should have edged it before I put oh before I put up. I this is why I need to go to bed. Look, I can't even draw a straight line. What I will do is I will just do some four instead of I was gonna put it on the outside, but what I'm gonna do is just do it on the inside of this and then we can make that line that I accidentally drew in there. A lot, make it make a bit more sense. So we'll make it look like this panel has been stitched on, and then it's still kind of not quite where I've drawn it. So I'm going to do this little. I like to do a little sort of zigzag sometimes, and then almost make it look like a loose thread. So I draw a little zigzag, and then I just draw a little dot at each of the corners where the peaks are, and so it looks like you know, like you use a zigzag stitch on the machine, and then there's a little bit of loose thread. So that'll help deal with that, and then I think I'll still put my stitching detail or full stitching detail around the edge of the card. Like so. I think that one was quite quick and simple, but I really like the way that turned out. As I said, that was me just, just about to leave, just about to go downstairs, head to my bed, and I saw it and thought, oh, that would work. You know, when you see sometimes that's why sometimes it's like when you see you come back to things, sometimes you can be looking at things for so long you can't see it anymore. But you step away from it and it kinda works. And that was almost what happened. I was stepping away from it. Now the other thing I've done is this was part of this was the centre of one of the pieces of paper. And I've chopped that down and that was all sort of round it. This was it. So I've chopped this down to make this the feature of a card and got a similar background paper, this was part of the E4 paper, so I was just again with this one going to do some really simple matting and layering and pop that down on a card and then that actually, actually has done another two, which means we will be six in, so at least not all of them, hopefully will have been horrendously long cards to make, it should be nice and easy
I'm making something that's nice and easy to look really difficult, aren't I? It's a skill that. <laughs> oh, it's going to be the other way around, doesn't it? Oh, I make it look so easy. Uh, nope. Let's find the most complicated way of doing the most simple tasks. Right, so I've got a card blank here, and as I said, this is literally out of one sheet of paper because um, I just took the sentiment out of the centre. No, it's two sheets of paper, and then um, I got a coordinating one that was the same as the... This is basically the small version of that, if that makes sense. So I'm going to put that down as an initial mat, and I'm going to have, as you, I've said, I kind of quite like to break up the page. Just adds a little bit more interest, so I'm just going to pop that down the side, and then because we've got the black writing, that ties it in. And again, because I've cut it out and the designs were coming through, we've got the little bit of blue around the edges there, which might look funny if we'd have sort of a plain background. But the fact that it ties in with this busy background here, we're not really going to see it because it's going to look like it belongs. Okay, and then I am just going to put this down here. I need to make it far enough down that it doesn't cover the sentiment. Now, as I said, if I wasn't limiting my supplies, a lot of these cards would have maybe had some, oh, sorry, pearls added or some, um, a little bit of sparkle pen or something like that. Um, so I'm just trying to show that you can make stunning cards with not a lot, but if you do have those supplies in your stash, use them. You know, use what you have. But then you also kind of think, oh, well, I don't have those fancy things, I can't make a card. You know, and hopefully we're kind of busting that myth as well. Right, so I am going to just do that, and then what we might have to do is sort of build that a little bit so it makes sense. So I need to try and build it in a way that works with the design but also so that we can read that sentiment. There's absolutely no point in covering the sentiment because that's sort of the main feature of the card. So we've got that there and now I need to try and as I say, just make this work a little bit. So I maybe just pop behind there with that. That looks okay. And I've got a few more that I can cut out if I need to, so I'm just going to pop that back. And again, that's why I only put glue in the centre, because now I can just lift the edges of those things if I need to and pop them, pop them behind. And then this is a good way of making your flowers go further. That we can just, um, if you chop chop the edge off, then, they, then you can use that. Okay, that looks nothing like a flower. But once it's put behind there, in that context, it does. Okay. So I'm going to pop that down there like so. I feel like I need a little, a little something just here because we can kind of see the edge of... I can kind of see the edge of the mat just there in the black so it doesn't make sense right now because you know he should be on a bit of a floral display so I'm just needing to pop something in there to disguise that and I think that will work quite nicely so I've just chopped that little flower up and I need to get it out to glue it in so what I will do is instead of putting glue on the flower I'm just going to put a bit of glue in that gap that I want to cover and again just sort of I'm going to slide that in it doesn't matter that it's picking up glue stick to the card and that's all we really want and I think again that's that one done I will just because I can't seem to make any card without doing some sort of doodled edge it's these sort of things that for me help the layers stand out you sometimes when you put pretty paper oh, then it's beak sometimes when you put pretty paper on pretty paper I can get lost a little bit, which is why I do tend to edge everything with a black uh, marker um, when I'm doing this style of card. And I'm also just, as I said, just drawing in this full stitching. It just creates that frame, uh, it breaks up the patterns so you, the eye actually sees all the different patterns instead of them all sort of blending into one. 
Okay, so I think that will definitely have to be me till tomorrow night. But only four to do tomorrow. Okay, see you soon. So, card number six. I've uh, chopped a few bits of, more bits of paper uh, just to have a play with. Um, instead of faffing too much, I'm just going to stick it right down and see where we're going. It is actually the next day now. <laughs> I know I was meant to do that last time and then just saw bits and pieces sitting there and decided to, decided to just keep going. But yes, it is... Um, the actually the next day and I was right it's the evening. I have been up here so I've sort of been prepping and fussy cutting and stuff like that because uh, we went into town for a little because it's school holidays so we went into town for a little bit today and we bought um, went into the works fatal I know and so I've got this bit of paper here I'm liking the pink and I've also fussy cut some pineapples out of this sheet of paper here but I think I'm going to have a bit of torn edge as well. Yeah, so we popped into the works. It was more to get my daughter, you know, I normally get her something to do during the holidays. When I was younger, um, it was a bit of a tradition with my with my mum that we used to walk into the high street. It was a very small high street because it was a sort of rural community. <laughs> but we, on the first of the holidays, we would walk into the, down to the high street and we would grab we were allowed to treat ourselves to something for the holidays. And it was always something to do. So it was always, um, you know, maybe a jigsaw or a ball of wool or paints or something. Some little bits and bobs. And uh, we would, that would be our first day of the holidays. And I loved it. I just remember the excitement of it being the first day of the holidays and being able to go into town and choose ourselves a treat. And so ever since my daughter... Uh, started nursery. We've always done that during the school holidays. Didn't quite make it on the first day of the holidays this time because my daughter's got the cold. So she was a bit miserable the first couple of days. She's still a bit rough now. I just think it's a real shame the fact she's got to have. <laughs> she's uh, on holiday and got this freedom and she's like feeling pretty rotten, which is a real shame. But yeah, so anyway, we ended up in the works. And it took me all of my willpower not to buy this kit again. I have actually bought it twice so you know I was I, I did have it in my hand but I was thinking no Julia that's ridiculous you can't buy it a third time. It doesn't become as much of a bargain if you, <laughs> if you buy it three times over. So yeah um, I had this kit in my hand again but no I came home and um, she bought um, it was a little set of I think it was like wooden butterflies that have been um, I think I want that further over. <laughs> now that I've stuck that down, let's see if I can do this without raking the paper too much. Um, yeah, she bought some little wooden butterflies that had a magnet on the back and you could paint them. It's like £3 for the kit, so it came with the... I have wrecked the paper a little bit there, which means we will need to hide it. Um, yeah, so that was that was what we were... So we've been in the loft while she's been um, making her little um, butterfly magnets and I didn't really want to be recording because I'm halfway through the video like she's desperate to do another video with me and we probably will during the school holidays you know crafting with kids sort of thing and um, we'll maybe get time to to do that now um, my pineapple's going to hide yeah they're going to hide where now that went a bit wrong so I'm quite liking that, do I like that? Um, and then I've also got this, this sticker that says Let's party! Yeah, so I've been up here, so what I did was tidy my desk, reorganised all the the bits and bobs um, yeah, let's put that there so that I wasn't, you know, crafting um, a burach, as we say here <laughs> Scottish thing for a total mess. <laughs> so yeah, so that I wasn't crafting a complete mess, I sort of straightened up and then while I was at it I sort of fussy cut a few elements out and got myself a bit organised for finishing the last four cards for this particular video. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. So as I said, this one was a die cut from the kit and then I've cut one out of the paper and then I cut one of the little 
pineapple slices out as well because I thought that would be quite fun. I was also wondering whether to have a bit of ribbon coming out of that tab. Maybe I'll let that look in a second. I should probably put that in before the sticking it down, but you know, when have I ever done things the sensible way? And not very often. Not very often. Right, so I'll pop that there and then she have a little bit of pineapple. I feel like that needs to go over a little bit more. Okay. And we can have pineapple there. I need to put that on a double, a double layer I think. Yeah, so that was us in town. It costs a fortune. We're just trying to go in and, you know, we, we see everything. So we go in and I'm not having to get McDonald's. I hate McDonald's food. I really don't like it at all. I'm not really a fast food sort of person. All my friends think I'm weird. I really just don't like it. I feel rather play vegetables. I mean, don't get me wrong, I eat a lot of rubbish, but... Um, Fast food really isn't really my thing. So yeah, we ended up going to McDonald's and then of course we went in to the works and she bought a few bits and bobs and I just I did buy a few bits and bobs. Although I'm trying not to because I have pretty much spent my crafting budget for this year. <laughs> I have, well I've been treating myself to far more things than I should because things have been a little bit up in the air, a bit, straight, a bit crazy stressful. Um, dealing with stuff that's just expect to deal with um, and I tend to cheer myself up with crafting purchases so I have bought far too much and I know I have um, but then um, an email came into my inbox for you know, Anna from the craft box and she was doing a workshop in St Ives and um, I think last year's had a boat trip in it and it's right on the waterfront and I I've always, always, always wanted to do a craft retreat and I never have. Now, because they are so pricey, like, it's, I mean, it's well worth the value. Um, but because I'm in the north of Scotland and most of these things tend to happen um, in the south, it's quite a lot of expense. So, like, I've had to, like, book a flight and I'll have to book a hotel. So, all in all... It won't be the cheapest of weekends, but I've always wanted to do one. And when I heard it was right by the river and everything that was on it, and I was just like, oh, I really, really, really want to do it. I was like, my husband, I really, 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 really want to do it. And he's like, yeah, go on then. So I've got all that booked. But yeah, because I have done that, I will definitely <laughs> now be, I'm not necessarily saying no spend because... I don't think I'll manage that for a whole year um, and as I said I do tend to kind of cheer myself up <laughs> every so but let's say minimal spend so very very occasionally I might be able to like pop into the works and buy a kit for three pound but there'll not be any major spending going on because yeah that is my I've spent my budget but do you know what my loft is absolutely full of crafting supplies I hate to think how much money I have spent on stuff that's just sitting around me. Um, so yes, I will definitely be on a use it up phase um, part of my crafting. Right, so that's card number six. I've got some more bits and bobs. Yeah, so I think we'll be having lots of um, use your scraps and uh, <laughs> which are done. Use it up sort of videos from me. That's, that's fine. So I think I'm going to have to kind of ban myself from this telly box and watching too many haul videos. I like seeing what people got because, you know, I don't think... The reason I watch them is because unless you're a crafter, you don't really get the whole buying paper thing. <laughs> you don't get the excitement that you know, it's like, oh, look at this, I got look at this, what a bargain. They just kind of look at it like you're crazy. Like, oh yeah, it's paper, it's stickers, lovely. <laughs> um, they, they just don't get it. So, and I think probably all of us face that. So I think it's quite nice. The haul videos, although it's not something I've done on my channel, but um, I do quite like seeing what people's, people have got. Yeah, so I like to I like to join in people's excitement 
but um, I might have to be careful just how many of them I watch because uh, <laughs> I also don't want to tempt myself too much either because it could be dangerous. Yes, so it's all excited. So I've got the place booked, like I've got the course booked, I've got my flights booked, I've yet to book the hotel. I kind of have to hear back from the craft box people because they do a discount code for one of the hotels so I'm, I'm waiting to hear from them to get my code and then I will book it but I'm very very excited so it's something that I've I've looked at so many craft retreats by so many companies and always wanted to do one I've not been able to justify the money and to be honest I can't really justify it now but sometimes you just need in life to do something for yourself and I, guess, I think it was a case of that to be honest so I'm excited. I'm delighted I am going. That is my big treat to myself this year. So, you know, I am not complaining at all because it's amazing. I'm so excited I'm getting to go. I know it will be a blast. I know I will learn a lot. I know I'll meet more crafty people and get to play with lots of amazing goodies. So I know it will be amazing and well worth the sacrifice of uh, you know, having to sit on your hands occasionally when you see stuff that you want. And believe me, I have bought loads in the past couple of weeks, so I have got plenty to keep me going. I don't know how long this video may be. Well, this is not the sort of card I've ever made before. It's not... <laughs> I'm not sure if it... Many of these are my normal style, but we will see how we get on with it. Right. I, do, I did really want to use that little chappy. We'll see how we get on with the next... The next few that I make, they may, they may change as well. I sort of have had rough ideas in my head, but not. I think it's that paper. It looked great with the stripy paper, but I want to use. I want to use this paper. Okay, and then I hope we've got our pink one here as well. So we'll put that down. Let's see how I like change our minds. This, I, I've never worked very well to a plan, to be honest. <laughs> I always tend to go off my own direction. I've never ever done very well at, you know, you get all these sketch challenges and stuff and people make the most amazing things. I've just never really, never really got on with that sort of thing very well. Right, I like this little butterfly but I don't want it as a sticker. I want it to have a little bit of, um, movement so I'm going to stick it onto the paper and then chop it out and then that way I can bend it in the middle so that we've got a little bit more dimension and we'll see how we get on with that fussy cutting I like fussy cutting not sure how interesting watching fussy cutting is but hey ho I'm hoping that if I come up with an entertaining conversation whilst I'm doing it, then it'll be okay. <laughs> if not, you press the little button and it skips you forward 10 seconds and that should be you sorted. <laughs> um, yeah. I'll just put a little... Yeah, a little butterfly there. That's working for me. Okay, so we will stick that down there like so. And then I'll chop these bits off. And then do a black border. I don't know that I'm going to do the stitching detail for this this time because there's a lot of clean lines there which on this particular card I quite like the look of. So I may just leave it as it is. Right, that is card number eight. So, two more to go. Let's see what I have in this one. And again, this is taken out of one of the backing papers. And I deliberately chose a bit that was just nice and plain. I wanted it to almost look like the owl was... Well, I would have quite liked to have created a bit of a tree, which I probably could have with those papers there, but I'm not sure I can go over doing that now. Right, so we'll just stick that one down. These papers are so nice. They really are. I really honestly can't. I know I've said it a few times, but I honestly cannot go over the quality of this. When I've got like the likes of graphic 
45 and Stampedia sat there. And okay, they're maybe not quite as thick as that, but they are better quality than a lot of the papers that I've got sat there and that I've spent more on them. Really, really impressed. All of these, I had a little bit of torn paper because why not? So yeah, this as I said is hopefully card making for beginners, so I'm hoping that I'm keeping it just nice and simple um, for all of you more advanced crafters, you know, you know what you're doing, probably far more than I do, so, you know, <laughs> I'm sure you'll be able to, whatever stage that you're at with your crafting journey, I'm sure this would, this will work, work for you. I'm going to chop these flowers in half so that I can do more with them. Okay. So I want to just try and move those up a little bit so that we're making the, the display just that a little bit bigger. And I quite often like doing this with my flowers, um, it makes them go a little bit further. Something like, like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. My daughter's been watching um, Spirit. It's like a thing about a horse called Spirit, and that's the theme tune to the cartoon. And now it's stuck in the head. It's like, do 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 I'm just finding myself singing it, which. Delightful for you all. <laughs> it's the one thing I'm not talented with. Singing. What do you think? Yeah, that looks alright. So we will stick that down there and then I will pop this middle bit onto some 3D foam so that we can add a little bit of dimension. I just have to take those pips off because they will bother me. Sorry, I am really fussy. And there we go. Right, so let's get a little bit of stuff. 3D foam on this one. Okay. And I will pop a bit of glue down as well. I've said this before even in this video. It just gives me a little bit. See, that looks really weird. But, um, Sometimes it's good just to, I'm going to, yeah, if I move that over that way a little bit, I think, and then we can have the, the happy going that way, or just happy with better going that way. And probably, so now I want to, <laughs> now we're going to put that wiggle room to test. There we go. And that is why I do it, because I can very quickly and easily change my mind. Now, I will have to just make sure that I cover where the glue went, so I will not be able to go as far with it as I would have liked, but that's okay, because maybe we can hide it with a happy, there we go, see, it's all good, it's all good, right, chop my 3D foam up, I'm really going to have to give my scissors a good clean, it's not ideal to be chopping 3D foam with your scissors, you know, I tell you not to, but how else are you going to do it? <laughs> This scissors all clean. That's what I do. I have scissors. I've been crafting with these scissors for. Well, they were originally my. Um, they were originally my sewing scissors because that is actually where I started my crafting journey. I used to do a lot of cross stitch and stuff like that. Actually, I've been crafting forever. I say that's where I started my crafting journey. I've been crafting my whole life. But I did have a real interest in doing cross stitch and stuff that kind of sort of hit in my teenage years. And also, um, I worked in a fabric shop, so I did a lot of sewing. And I made, well, the shop that I worked in, we also did bridal gowns, so they, I got my dress made for me when I got married. But I made my own, I made the bridesmaid dresses and things like that. So I kind of started with fabric and stuff. So uh, goodness knows how old those are. Um, them 
way before I was married, and I've been married for like 19 years. And they're now paper craft ones because I paper craft far more than I sew, and they're good scissors. And yeah, I have chopped all sorts. So with these, I, as you can see, I'm getting them really glued up. I have chopped through wire, yeah, all sorts. I just clean them up, and I've got a little Fisker's scissor sharpener, and every so often I just pop them in there and then sharpen them up, and they're, just, they're absolutely fine. So all of this, don't use your good scissors. It's like, okay, yeah, they're not going to cut fabric now. I, I'll be the first to say that. Well, they would if I sharpen them up nice again, but, you know. I do like that they are good scissors. And I do manage to rescue them from the abuse that I give them. I think that's what I'm trying to say with all that waffle. Okay, so what are we on to? Card number nine. I am going to do a bit of stitching on this one just because it does seem a little bit clean. So I'll we'll just give it a little bit of full stitching. So again, I just draw a little dot. It's quite loose because it's almost um, trying to mimic um, like hand stitching, which isn't perfect. For me it just frames it a little bit and adds that little bit of, of detail. So that's as on to card nine. One more because I'd said that I would do ten on this video. Um, if we do ten, as I said, that would have made these 30 pence a card. If you already had the card blanks and the glue and stuff, if not, maybe 50 pence a card. But I will show you the amount of stuff I've got left. We could so easily make another ten conservatively we could make another 10 which would bring the cards down to 15 pence a card um, or 25 pence depending on and depending on what your supplies were when you started so I think that's all I'm trying to illustrate that you know it can be you don't need a lot because I've literally not used any I've used this kit that cost me three pounds card blanks um, and you can buy card blanks or packs of card and, and they work really quite cheap and glue stick and so some, some scissors and you're, you're sorted even if you want to use kitchen scissors that's all right you might need to spray them with disinfectant first like <laughs> if you've been using them to chop your bacon <laughs> yeah, i wouldn't recommend you mix your scissors but you know sometimes needs must <laughs> sometimes if it's all you've got it's all you've got <laughs> Right, so for this one I'm going to build a little bit of a flower arrangement, I think. I'm just sticking down a little bit of paper just to add a bit of interest to the card. Okay, so I've got this box which I'm thinking we will fill with flowers. So I need to glue the the backing flowers down first. So let's have a look at what we've what we've got. So what I will do is I will put the backing ones in first so that we've got a bit of a background and then I will put the foreground ones in and then I will fill up the gaps with what's left. And we'll see how that works for us. Just building a flower. So admit this is all the die cuts. This is just a, I've taken a tiny bit of paper there, um, and this is me just uh, ho grabbed a whole bunch of flower die cuts, and that's what I'm using here. I'm just going to layer loads of them up. And as I said, that's what one of the really great things about this kit that I've bought kits before that have amazing die cuts in them, but you can start getting a bit precious about them because uh, you know they cost a bit more. There's these you know cheapest chips. Probably cheaper than chips. Let me think. Yeah, in our local chippy, you can get a regular thing of chips. I think for two fifty, so it's only fifty pence more. Uh, but the large, the large bag of chips, which is I think it's about five pounds, so it would be less. It would be cheaper than chips. So there you go. <laughs> oh, the random things that I end up discussing. Right. And then put that one on 3D foam. 
might actually put it on two bits because I don't really want this to be in the foreground. So I want that to stand out. Oh, I'm about to sing that song again. <laughs> Trying to get it out of my head. It's an earworm or something. I must have been concentrating on something else whilst, whilst it was playing. Apparently that's how we your worms are more effective. I'll put that down there. Okay. And then I'll fill out I'll fill out my pot with flowers. Okay. Flowering range in here. <laughs> But that's one thing I'm not very good at. Flower arranging. Can't seem to arrange flowers for toffee. I try my best. You know, if people actually buy me flowers or anything like that, it's like I try my best and I, I you know, make it all, you know, I try really hard with like all the rules of design that I, that I should know. And I just, I don't know, just can't seem to get it to work for me when it comes to flowers. <laughs> That's a half a one that I've obviously used on something else, so we'll poke that somewhere. It can be used. Just pop it behind there, see? Never know. Never know. Okay. It's going to sing it again. Now I'm good. Just keep singing. You know it's coming. Well, this video may have been long to watch. Uh, I don't know, because it's all gone in little bits and it's only when I play it back and watch it that I'll, that I'll actually know. But you know, for me to have made this many cards in whatever time it takes, that's quite impressive. I have been known to spend like four days on one card, so you know, we're, <laughs> we're doing alright. <laughs> if you stuck with me, then well done. Should I do have any, oh, should I, should I, oh yeah, I quite like those buttons there. That's working for me. Okay, and then a little bit of doodling, and I think we might have number 10 complete. And I'll just do a quick review and show you all the stuff that I have got left. So I tell you what, I have got lots of stuff left here. So I have been a bit obsessed with this kit. If you w w see me on Instagram, you'll see that, you know, from my original kit, I've already made loads. This, I started with a fresh kit for this one, just because I wanted to do it purely from the one kit, I didn't want there to be any overlap. So if you're, like at some point I might be able to kind of put a total of how many I've made and you know, put it at the top of the comments, but in reality that's probably going to be a few weeks before I'd be able to do that. If you would like to see a video where I attempt to make another 10 kits, another 10 cards or more cards out of this kit, then let me know. If you're not overly bothered because this has been enough inspiration, um, that's fine too. Um, I will probably just continue to share pictures of what I've done on Instagram. So if you are interested, I do post a lot more on Instagram. I'm normally posting daily unless I've just got life stuff going on and I haven't got around to it. But in general, I do post daily. Um, so, And I post random stuff, to be honest. It's... Um, crafting, a lot of crafting related, but also I can post bits of my own artwork as well, um, so like little drawings I've done and things like that. Um, so if, if you're happy enough with that, I can stick to that, but, or if you would like to see me make um, another attempt to get another 10 cards out of what we've got left, you can let me know in the comments. Right, I'm just going to clean up and then show you everything. Okay, so that's the 10 cards all together. I've had to zoom out a little bit so you can just see the, the mess that actually encroaches me whilst I craft. <laughs> okay, so those are the 10 cards. I hope you like them. Um, I've just kept them um, really quite simple. just want to show you what's left over from that kit. So we've still got most of the ribbon. We've got masses and masses of die cuts there. So we've still absolutely loads of the die cuts left. 
Um, I've got scrap papers, which, you know, it's amazing what we can do with our scraps. I will have more scrap videos coming. Uh, we've still got the feathers. Um, we've still got pretty much two full sheets of the stickers. Um, and I think I've counted that I've got about nine sheets, full sheets of paper left there as well. So definitely enough to make at least another ten. So I hope you'll agree that it's well worthwhile um, and that you don't have to spend a lot of money to have fun crafting and you can do it on a budget. So I hope you've enjoyed the concept of this video. If you have enjoyed what I've done, please do consider liking and subscribing. And I will be back again with something different very soon. Okay, take care then and goodbye.